This is the circumstance that led to my departure from the Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, it was actually a scripture, a scripture in Revelation chapter 12. And uh, it's in verse 17. I'll read the scripture. It says, And the dragon grew wrathful at the woman, and went off to wage war with the remaining ones of her seed, who observe the commandments of God, and have the work of bearing witness to Jesus. So, it becomes obvious that the Bible is written to the people who are in God's kingdom. It's really not written for the rest of the world or the nations, because God considers them to be a film of dust or a drop in the bucket. So if you uh, carefully consider that scripture, the remaining ones of the seed that Jesus Christ planted, planted, what that suggests is that there will be a very few of the saints, the anointed chosen ones, who would be obeying Jesus Christ. And so the reverse is also true. There would be a large number of those saints who are inside God's kingdom who would be disobeying Jesus Christ. So I spent a lot of time looking for what commandment that might be. Jesus Christ made several commandments to his people in the Bible that are written in the Gospels. But one of the most fundamental of these is found in Matthew chapter 28, and it's right at the end of the chapter of Matthew. I'll read the commandment that Jesus Christ gave to his disciples, his followers. Here it is. It's in uh, verse 19. Go, therefore, and make disciples of people of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all the things I have commanded you. And look, I am with you all the days until the conclusion of the system of things. And so it occurred to me that this is a commandment of all commandments. He's commanding his disciples to baptize people and keep his commandments. So this is one of the most fundamental of all the commandments. And uh, the baptism sequence is in the name of the Father, the Son, and with Holy Spirit. It's pretty simple, and it should be right up to the conclusion of the system of things. Jehovah's Witnesses, however, add another name to uh, uh, the set of names listed in Jesus Christ's commandment, and that name is God's Spirit-Directed Organization. So it occurred to me that uh, here is a commandment that not only is it not being kept, it is being undermined. So the governing body of Jehovah's Witnesses have blatantly changed this command. But even though it's blatant, uh, the people inside of Jehovah's Witnesses, God's kingdom, can't see it. And there's another scripture which shows that uh, people will, will be restrained from seeing the man of lawlessness. However, to continue on why I was uh, disfellowshipped, or the reason for my departure, I uh, wrote a letter to the governing body, each member of the governing body, there were ten at the time, and uh, also to everyone in my congregation where I could find an uh, address for that person. So there was about 50 letters that I wrote explaining the situation where Jesus Christ's commandment is not being kept and uh, why it was important for people to keep that commandment. Um, so, a week later, uh, I was asked to go to a, a, a meeting with three elders in the congregation, and uh, the meeting was actually at the Canadian Bethel headquarters. During this judicial committee hearing, the three elders tried very hard to find a reason to disfellowship me. I hope you can understand why it must be very, must have been very difficult for them to uh, find a reason to disfellowship a person who is saying that we should obey Jesus Christ, uh, the King. And uh, so they tried many things like, uh, my letter is causing divisions, 
and that I'm not being loyal to uh, the governing body, the anointed saints who are looking after Jehovah's Witnesses. And anyway, I stuck to my guns and explained that, uh, no, I want to be loyal to Jesus Christ. It uh, didn't help. Uh, I was disfellowshipped. Uh, I was walked to the door the, the, uh, at the Kingdom Hall on the Canadian Bethel property, and uh, they uh, escorted me through the door. And the person, the elder who locked the door behind me, must have been very confounded when I started shouting and jumping for joy as I left the Canadian Bethel headquarters. And uh, perhaps uh, I should have gone back and explained to him that I had just been persecuted for Jesus Christ's sake and uh, reminded him of the scripture uh, that explains what kind of rewards a person might get who uh, stood up for Jesus Christ. Uh, I, sh I should read that script scripture to you so you understand why I jumped and shouted for joy. Please go to Why I Was Disfellowshipped Part 2 to understand why the disfellowshipping procedures that Jehovah's Witnesses use actually fulfills several Bible prophecies.